Full disclosure, I was not planning on making this video, but something about a challenge where four people get disqualified and Jeff Probst gets annoyed at everyone just can't be overlooked. So much drama over a small black and yellow space during a reward challenge in episode three of Survivor Thailand deserves its own video. Before we start, I wanna thank you all for supporting this channel. If you wanna see these videos weeks before they're ever released here on YouTube, then consider supporting this channel on Patreon. That Patreon also gets you access to the audio files for Survivor Podcast, and you get to pick which survivors I tell the stories of. With that out of the way, let's start the video. In the center of the course, there's an attack zone. It is clearly marked in black and gold cloth. Survivor loved to experiment with different challenges in the old school era of the show. The quality of these challenges were all over the place. You might have a great challenge like a strategic tug of war in Survivor, the Australian Outback, contrasted to a terrible challenge like flying kites in Survivor Marquesas. All right, Nalia, you're airborne. Or a terrible challenge like the two tribes observing a hut and then answering questions about it in Survivor the Amazon. Say one, you both say one. You're both wrong, it was four. Or a challenge where Jeff reenacts the Blair Witch Project and survivors have to be their own cameramen when answering questions in Survivor Borneo. What is the new challenge? Survivor Witch Project, Lagong Beach, Sundown. Anyways, most challenges Survivor came up with in these seasons were not the best. So they experimented and experimented, and that is how we get to this epic challenge. So for this reward challenge, what each tribe needs to do is simple enough. You have to walk from your boat to another boat on the other side of a couple of wide balance beams and grab a basket and bring it back to your boat. The first tribe to bring back 10 baskets wins. However, Survivor has introduced a new twist that has never been seen before. It's called the attack zone. If you are in the attack zone, you can engage contact with somebody else who is also in the attack zone and try to push them off the course into the water. No previous challenge in Survivor history has ever allowed the players to truly get physical, but now is their chance. In this small designated zone, they can fight. If you are not in the attack zone when you engage contact, you're out of the game and one item from your tribe's boat goes into the other tribe's boat. The challenge starts off innocently enough as Sukjai takes a four to two lead over Chewigon. We then get our first face off in the attack zone. Stand and try to pump me, bro. Oh, when I got it baby. Get in the black zone, kid. That was a clean fight where both castaways fall into the water and no one really gains anything. Sukjai then pulls into a 5-3 lead before Brian and Xi'an face off in the attack zone. Unlike Ted and Rob, this seems like Brian will win easily. Make sure you're both in the attack zone! Let him turn in the water with you! And he does just that, but revenge is oh so sweet as Sukjai is leading 7-4 and Brian has to face off against Ken. First one to ten wins. Bust him up like he stole somebody's life. Ken gets the best of Brian, and this is where things start to take a turn. Sukjai starts getting sloppy. They now have an eight to four lead. Ken, high off of just beating Brian, rushes in and. Go get him. not in the attack zone when you first make contact. You're out of the game. He accidentally shoves Helen off without being in the attack zone. This leads us to the most infamous fight from this challenge that almost everyone remembers. No, no, no! Uh, 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 no, 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 no! No! You were not in the attack zone when you grabbed Clay around the throat. You're out of the game. It's much of a whiny baby. Rob with two Bs tries to choke Clay, who has to be a foot shorter than him, and just throws him in the water. The crazy part is that it seems like Rob with two Bs only gets in trouble for not being in the attack zone. Jeff is seemingly chuckling about the fact that he attempted to choke this other guy. These two mishaps have now tied the tribes six to six. The sloppiness continues when Ted faces off with Stephanie. What are you doing? You were in the water. You're nowhere close to the attack zone. 
I love everything about Jeff scolding Stephanie about being nowhere close to the attack zone, and it isn't over. Jed rushes in as Brian is leaving the attack zone and... No, Jed, you weren't in the attack zone when you first made contact. Come on, guys, I'm like a broken record. Chewy Gone wins 10 to 5, but in reality, they only gathered 6 out of those 10 points. Sukjai blew the reward and the lead with their sloppiness and self-destruction. But hold on, this isn't over yet, as Rob with two Bs, the guy who attempted to choke Clay, has something to say about why they lost. That last time, he came at me and I put my hands out and pushed him in. He's a weak little whiny punk. We got beat today, dude, but it wasn't by somebody better than us. Okay, I'm not gonna be a sore loser. We lost, dude. We lost by a bunch of rules. That's right, they lost due to a bunch of rules. Now, obviously, this is ridiculous. If a sport or competition didn't have any rules, then it wouldn't be a sport or a competition. It would be a free-for-all mess, which I guess, in a way, is what Suk Jai was and what maybe what they were wanting. However, not everyone on Suk Jai agrees with Rob with two Bs, as Sheehan gives us her two cents. Who gives a Because I got a good shot on homeboy from the backwoods, and Big Teddy wasn't so big. That's what I'm saying. Rob, idiot that he is, he talks so much, he can't even, he can't, there's no way a logical thought goes through his brain because his mouth is always flapping. Yeah, I would say that sounds about right. Now, does the attack zone ever make a return in Survivor? Yes, yes it does. In the middle is a battle bridge. When two opposing tribe members meet on opposite ends of the bridge, it is a physical showdown. First one to hit the water's out. Yeah. Boston Rob hit the water first. Ethan took a big header on the side of the pool. Tune in next time as we review the entirety of Survivor Thailand. Thanks for watching. And if you like the content you see here, then please support me and this channel on Patreon. That Patreon has every video I release weeks earlier than when they go up on YouTube. And your financial support makes this channel possible. Thank you for watching. Backwoods hick. Did you hear him? <laughs> He's screaming at me, dude. I want to spit in his face.